In this video we're going to be learning about the YouTube Studio Video Editor Save As New. There are three examples I'm giving for this and that is if you've got a raw clip which needs trimming in a few places it's useful. I'm going to demo it. Um, if you've got a super long video already at YouTube maybe in public and you need a shorter clip because it's perhaps quite popular because you've looked at your audience retention of course that is a good example to save as new and republish. Um, let's say you've done a live stream, let's say it was a music concert or something like that and you wanted to extract a band set so if the concert was say three hours long and you wanted to extract band one, two and three to publish as a new video, save as new is useful. So what we've got here in an example in the demo is uh, the sheep and the alpacas. This is what studio video editor looks like. I will come to it in a moment. We know this because YouTube studio, what's new at studio.youtube in October said, save videos as new videos. You can now save and edit it version of your video as a new video in the YouTube Studio Beta. I've, I've dotted the bottom bit here where it says revert to original was a top request. I'm sure it was, but let's be honest, if you didn't have save as new as a feature which we've been waiting from my calculations six, sorry, 15 months for in my calculations, I can prove it um, because I've got previous videos on YouTube Studio. Let's get on with it. So we're about to go over to this thing here, which is the sheep and the alpacas that I recorded this morning. And what we'll see here, let me, let me just go up one slide. That's your thing before we're about to do the demo on the timeline. If you look up here where save is, and I go to the next slide, slightly different video, you can see save as new, which of course looks like that. It is hidden behind the blue and white save buttons, so you will not know it's there unless you hit the three little dots here and say save as new. Notice that the revert to original is greyed out because nothing has been done. Oh, like this bit because we're up to showing you the raw video. So as I said, I went out this morning and watched this because we've got a sheep alpacas, uh, a small holding um, keeper if you like, but there's a lot of shaky bits. I will play it in its entirety because it's useful. So in other words, I start off here, let me just bring the, the sound down of this a bit. So we've got our sheep using my mobile phone on binoculars affair. And you see that is really quite a horrible piece of one video where I'm moving and then I stabilize. And the four alpacas are looking away. One, two, three, I'm sort of now thinking about moving on. They look around and raw click, clip, remember, and you can see all this banging around and stuff, which is not very pleasant to the eye. It goes on to the end, goes on to the end, and here we go. Here's our sheep with a belt round the neck. That was it. So what we can do then is go on, and if we used my Windows 10 Sony Vegas, not Sony Vegas, Mo Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 15, Sony used to own it, then what I've done if I was doing a desktop edit I would put some markers in and then what I would do is know that if I was doing it this way then I would delete the uneven shaky video clip this is what we want to replicate at studio YouTube if I was doing it on cyberlink power director on Android similarly this is my finished video in other words one two three four five little clips so shall we get on and go over to um, YouTube and have a look at the editor. I am on a 15.6 inch screen here, so therefore I'm going to go up to, um, I've got a 22 inch screen, it's just that that's on the other one. For screen recording and making videos, this is better um, for me to produce. So this is our video editor look. If we drag the thing, the timeline scrub bar along, we've got what we want, so we need to replicate it. Now, before you get started, top right look, Save is, of course, greyed out, and we've also got Save as New that is not working. So what we need to do, first of all, knowing that you have a little bit of knowledge behind it, I'm going to wait until the camera starts to pan, and I'm just pulling the bar, or I could hit play, quite honestly. And it's, there it is. Right, it's gone, isn't it? So let's say it was there. Okay. Then what I need to do at that stage is hit trim, and then I need to hit split. And then I need to take the deletion part out, and drag it forward. Now at this point I want to see where the scrub bar actually settles. So it settles about... God, that's, that's not bad, was it? So now I want this. 
I want this, I want this, I want this. Sorry, I'm, I'm just saying as I, I pull it along. It starts to go below, so I'm obviously moving. And then I hit split again. Then I can go and drag scrub bar along until I settle nearly, nearly there. And then I can get that and knock that piece out. And I'm not showing off here. I'm just going as fast as I can. So with, then she comes in with the two dogs and just as because I've done this a few times I'll hit that and in other words I've got to know my video that is really important then you go through and sh alpaca friends let's call it there split uh, so I'm God, hold on a second I've got to yeah I've split that so yeah that should be right and then I go out I'm, I'm doing this a lot quicker than I'd normally do it so we go there and alpacas looking 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 and then we need to, there we go, look, it's gone again. So we split that again. And then we go along and say, I've split and I want to take away all the nonsense, which is there. Settle on our friend. Come on, come on. Nearly done them. This is going really well, actually. Hello. Um, hello. Um, and then we want to, oh, we want to keep that. So we want to take that piece away to there. And then I think we want to go in, don't we? Now at this stage, I've done this really quickly, but the thing I wanted to say to you is you can zoom in really, really well on this. And I would, for longer videos, I'll definitely go keep zooming in. Okay, look, without me um, going as fast as I can, I think we've got success. So what we need to do is preview, hold on a second, get the little scrub thing, pull it back, preview, Let's hope this works. Is it going to preview? All right, preview, play. All right, so we've got um, our friend the sheep who is very static. Very static. Straight through. See what's happening here? Straight through to the alpacas who is looking up field for something. Then in theory, if I've got it right, we go on to the... Yes, Goodness me, this is, I'm, I'm really pleased so far. Let's hope I've done it right. So she's walking in with the dogs. It's feeding time, everyone, he says, putting a voiceover on. OK, I got it a little bit wrong there, but you get the idea. There's the alpaca still looking, still looking. And then to be quite nonplussed with the whole event, we've got our friend the sheep with the bell going, really? What are you doing? OK. And that's that. Then we need to go up and we need to go to three dots. Notice save as new is active. We want to keep this as private. Yes, I will. I'm not going to delete the original clip. I would never do that. Um, and it says copy of. Notice copy of is active. So the original clip was called sheep alpaca raw clip. This one is copy of and save as new. I think while that is processing, I think I might finish this video and say good luck. Oh, no, no. Yeah, no, I have actually. Sorry, sorry. I say that because, look, save as new as done, but it still says save up there. I know that this to be done. I need to send feedback to this because I, I really don't like the fact that that save is there. It should give me something on screen to say, hey, look, you've actually said save as new, so good luck to you, friend. OK, look, I'm going to finish the video there. Good luck with this. Please leave a question or comment if you wish to. Thank you very much and goodbye.